takeaways from each from each one of you. Take two or three minutes or three to five minutes. What are the most important things that our attendees should leave today's webinar with? We'll work our way backwards, starting with you, Emily, then Lynn, and then Lori. My two takeaways would be to take the extra time to invest yourself in the 990 instructions. Go deeper than the, the face of the form, the, the, the way the words read. Go into the instructions because those change rapidly from year to year. And, and I'm sure all of you in the audience are already wanting to do that. Now you have the authority of this Knowledge Group panel to tell you it's worth your time. And secondly, please use the supplemental space. Use the extra pages that are provided to you to tell your story beyond the minimum requirements of the 990. Those supplemental explanations can really save you a lot of heartache. Lynn Sue. All right. <laughs> All right. So I guess my key takeaway um, follows up with what Emily had said. Um, in terms of always look at the instructions, delve into the instructions, but more importantly with every year, in the beginning of the form 990 instructions, they always highlight changes that happened. There hasn't been any in 2016, but it does say that you know future developments, uh, they give you a link as to where future developments um, may be found. So always look in the instructions to see what has changed, and the, the very first page usually in, um, highlights those. Um, other than that, um, I would suggest that you spend time with um, the organizations, legal counsel, auditing, um, tax team, depending on which side you are on, and the organization management to properly determine or related organizations and determine answers to the questions on the Form 990. Um, and regarding Schedule R specifically, again, I also take time to ensure that information provided in the Form 990s match up, um, especially if the other, in particular, when the other organizations also file Form 990s. And finally, Lori Roth Yakabaski. Um, thank you. So my key takeaway is just to remember the IRS's goal. The IRS's goal is to strengthen the accountability and transparency and governance of the exempt organizations. And I think everything that we've talked about, transparency and telling your story, and, and we've heard it over and over again, and, and even in, Lynn, in Emily's um, comments and their takeaways, we're encouraging you to take a few extra moments and use the space provided. More often, and, and I understand, because the, the, the 990 could be an, an overwhelming form and an overwhelming task, people tend to get the information in, put the numbers in, and they forget about the core piece of it, and they forget about the reason that the organization, why the filing is there. And I try to encourage all of our clients and, and all of you to use the document as an internal and external marketing tool. You use, you've put so much time and effort into putting the verbiage and making sure that everything is there, and, it's, and now the form is telling your story. Use it, and use it to your benefit. Put the information there, craft it with specific donors in mind, and craft it with specific grant opportunities in mind and be descriptive, be tr transparent. And um, I think that you can also use that form to not only as we talked about external, but the internal marketing for the associations that are out there and the member organizations that are out there. That information can easily be moved all of their members and, and give them, as Emily has mentioned, and one of the reasons that today's call is to give them be transparent with it. And, and um, I think that all of the time and, and effort will be well worth it. <laughs> 